Welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Who Says Elephants Can't Dance. The book was written by Louis V. Gerstner Jr. Gerstner was IBM's former CEO, and it was he who helped turn the fortunes of the computer giant around. Before he took up the reins at IBM, the company was $16 billion in deficit. The media said it already had one foot in the grave. After Gerstner took over, the tech giant rose to become one of the most profitable companies in the world. Who was Gerstner, and why was he so powerful? Let's take a glimpse at his story. Gerstner was born, one of four children in Mineola, New York on March 1, 1942. His family was average yet unusual. Average because Gerstner's parents started their married lives employed as a run-of-the-mill milk truck driver and a low-level salesperson. Unusual because Gerstner's parents were not content with the way things were. Gerstner's father worked his way up from being an ordinary driver to becoming involved in dispatch. Similarly, his mother forged ahead from selling real estate to become an administrator at a community college. Under the influence of his parents' words and following their ambitious habits, Gerstner grew to be restless and enterprising. However, what contributed still more to his success, guaranteeing him and his siblings a bigger platform in the future were the sacrifices his parents made for their education. Their meager salaries were not enough to support the expensive tuition costs for four kids but this was their priority. To make ends meet and fund their kids' studies, they had to mortgage their property every four years. Through their example, Gerstner's parents nurtured his attitude and motivation. After finishing high school in 1959, he won a scholarship setting him off on his life path to Dartmouth College and later Harvard Business School. Graduating from there at the age of 23, he joined the business sector, quickly gaining senior roles in the U.S. companies McKinsey, American Express, and RJR Nabisco. Gerstner built his reputation over more than two decades in the business world, becoming a leading executive, he gained renown in the industry. Once a market behemoth, the decline of IBM caused alarm across the U.S. business community. Gerstner's brilliance led the ailing company to reach out to him for help. After various twists and turns, Gerstner took up the reins of IBM when the mega company was $16 billion in deficit. But throughout his nine years of leadership, he turned the tech giant around from deficit to profit. The company's share price rose tenfold, making it one of the most profitable companies in the world. For most of Gerstner's career in the business world, there was a preconception that small companies were agile, responsive, and efficient, while big companies were slow, bureaucratic, and inefficient like lumbering elephants. Gerstner regards this as nonsense. Big companies have unique advantages. They are able to make bigger investments, take more significant risks, and stake their capital behind longer-term developments. Gerstner says he had never experienced a small company that doesn't wish to grow, to become a giant. He has shown that even the big elephants like IBM can dance. The book we are unlocking today who says elephants can't dance is based on Gerstner's own experience at IBM. In this business autobiography, he looks back for the first time at the glorious days of transformation at IBM. In this book, from his first appointment to his taking the helm of IBM, the businessman tells of both internal changes and external strategies. To continue, we will unlock this book in three parts. Part 1 is about the difficulties of the 